Hey class, it's Mr. Clark here, and uh, we're going to discuss uh, chapter 1.1, Early Civilizations in West Asia and Africa. Here's a map showing you the regions that are going to be discussed here. Next slide. The first part of this chapter is entitled, The Sumerian Exemplar of Civilized Life. Sumerian city-states arose around 4000 BCE between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. For centuries, this region was dominated by a collection of independent city-states, including uh, the uh, first known city in history, the city of Ur, in that part of the world. Next slide. Cuneiform, one of the earliest examples of written language, was an important contribution of the Sumerians. The Sumerians um, are known for producing a, uh, an early language that was based on pictures and symbols as one of their many achievements. Next slide. The next section of the chapter is entitled Political and Cultural Developments of the Babylonians Assyrians and Chaldeans. Uh, the Sumerians were replaced by a series of empires. Over the centuries, um, attempts were made by various groups to conquer this area, and among these groups were the Babylonians, the Assyrians, and the Chaldeans. Uh, these empires lasted for several centuries and then were replaced by others. There was a lot of warfare involved in the history of this region. Next slide. One of the greatest achievements of these so-called successor civilizations was Hammurabi's Law Code. Hammurabi's Law Code is one of the earliest known um, legal systems in the world and it was well known for um, the concept of an eye for an eye and revenge. Also, uh, different groups in society were treated differently under Hammurabi's Law Code. Next slide. The next section of the chapter is entitled, The Land of the Nile and the Emergence of, Euro of Egyptian Civilization. Menes unified Upper and Lower Egypt around 3000 BCE. Menes is often uh, credited as being the first pharaoh, and his reign started a reign of pharaohs that would last almost 3,000 years in Egyptian history. Next slide. Very early, excuse me, the pyramids of Giza are among the marvels of the ancient world. Very early in Egyptian history, it's estimated uh, somewhere around 2600 BC is when the uh, so-called Great Pyramids were built and um, there's been a lot of discussion and debate about the uh, purpose and the uh, building of these pyramids but they certainly are one of the treasures of the ancient world for sure. Discontinuity and the rise and decline of an imperial culture the discovery of the tomb of Tutankhamun in 1922 provided a glimpse of imperial Egypt. Uh, one of the great archaeological discoveries of all time occurred in the 1920s. It was uh, made by an Englishman named Howard Carter, and uh, he discovered the tomb of a somewhat important Egyptian pharaoh named uh, Tutankhamun, and uh, the fact that his tomb was found intact, undisturbed, whereas most tombs of pharaohs through the ages were broken into and, and robbed, uh, Tutankhamun's tomb was found intact, and it gave a real excellent insight into many aspects of ancient Egyptian culture. And that's it for this section. See you later.